Understanding annual leave in Sage Pastel Payroll and HR. Before annual leave gets processed, it needs to be added to the employee's master file. You can view the formula for the days due year or read more about it on the Sage City link below. Navigate to Edit Employee Master File. Click on the Leave tab. If the code 0001 is not showing, please add the code and the cycle leave entitlement. To get to the correct amount for leave days due, the formula is opening balance plus days accrued minus days taken. Let's view the below facts regarding leave for monthly paid employees. To process the annual leave, you will have to navigate to Process, Payslips. Click on the Leave tab. The code 0001 will show automatically if it is on the employee master file. Add another code 0001 and enter the date the leave starts and the date the leave ends. You can either use the calendar or type it in. You can type in a leave reference, but this is not mandatory. If the code 5012 does show with an amount, it means that the employee has earned fluctuating income over the last three months. For more information regarding what BCA leave is, we would like to refer you to the Government Gazette number 24889, published on the 23rd of May 2003. Please refer to paragraph 6. Fluctuating incomes are incomes such as commission and overtime. To determine why the BCA leave calculates, you can view our reports under View, Payroll Reports, Leave, BCA Leave Calculation Totals. The next example will show the leave processing for an employee without fluctuating income in the last three months. The code 5102 might still appear, but will be zero. We highly advise that you do not override the code 5012. Please see below general troubleshooting for monthly employees. Please take notes of these facts for weekly paid employees. Weekly leave will be processed in the same way, but the timing of processing leave becomes more important. You will see that if the leave starts in a future period, the days taken will not calculate until you are in that week. You can process future leave, but it will only activate in the period where the leave starts. You will see that the days taken remain as a zero and it's grayed out so it cannot be altered. We will now roll over into the next week to apply the activation of the leave days that have been processed. The 
leave days taken will now show a value and will no longer be greyed out. You will see that the code 5012 will pay out all the leave days before they go on leave. You should only pay them in this week for the hours that they have worked. The code 5013 will pay you your daily rates for every public holiday in the leave period. It's important to note that if the weekly employee's leave period is a number of weeks, the next payslip will be greyed out with the status of on leave. This is to ensure that they don't accidentally get paid as they have already been paid for the duration of the leave period. If the employee returns to work before their leave period has come to an end, you can reinstate them. Please note that if they return from leave early, the employee might need to pay back a portion of the leave pay and the payroll administrator will need to adjust the days due on the master file to give the leave days back to the employees. View some of our troubleshooting FAQs.